house seat. And I have to remove my spectacles and get really close. Jared Patanato. Patanato, get up here, Jared. Let's give Jared a welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you all for having me. I'm Jared Petnato, and I'm running for the United States House of Representatives seat for Montana. So I'm excited to be here. I'm, I'm born and raised in Montana, and it's just it's just great to be here. I went to a school in Missoula. I had a burger over at Parker's. I did not know that they had so many burgers and that they were so good. <laughs> I feel like it's a secret <laughs> that I have now just discovered. So thank you guys for helping me find that. <laughs> Uh, you know, I see, I'm excited about this race because I see lots of opportunities for Montana. I see, I see ways we can build Montana and grow it for the future. And so I've been traveling around the whole state and talking to people. I hear people say, you know, we want someone with Montana values back in DC. We want someone who can take what we have here and, and take it out there because we don't see that out there. We see our leadership out in DC failing us and not producing what we need. So I'm the only candidate in this race out of nine people born and raised in Montana. I'm a fourth generation Montanan. My great grandfather worked for the railroad. My grandfather worked for the railroad. My father worked for the railroad. So we've been here quite a while. It was all up in Essex and, and Whitefish. So you guys raised me. Montana raised me. I grew up hiking in Montana's mountains and fishing in its creeks and swimming in its lakes. So the Montana values that you instilled in me live and reside pretty deep. And I don't see them back in DC either. And the Montana values I'm talking about are working together to solve problems, digging in the details and trying to find solutions among neighbors, helping your neighbors, and pitching in for your community. Public service is such a huge part of Montana. We send more people to the military than all but, per capita than all but one state. So we know what it means to, to do that public service. So I ended up doing that myself. I took the values that you guys gave me. I got my math degree at the University of Montana. I clerked, I went to Stanford for law school, worked for Brian Schweitzer when he was taking the buses up to Canada. And I ended up at the United States Department of Justice where I served for nine years defending our public lands here in Montana and throughout the United States. The United States trusted me with $16 billion of projects that include forest service projects, wind farms, highways, public rail, and I succeeded in about 15 billion of them. So a lot of that experience has shown me opportunities here in Montana to grow it and to build. And in particular, I see opportunities in the wind and the trees. We can make money out of thin air with wind energy in eastern Montana. It's a, it's a great opportunity to bring jobs to Montana. Wind is the next treasure from the treasure state. And we can use the money that grows on trees to manage forests and to reduce high severity wildfires. We burned 1.2 million acres last year, lost $240 million of tourism. That's jobs, and that's a loss of opportunity. And we did that because we, can, we manage our forests into a condition that causes high severity wildfires. And we can use science to restore fire to the natural part of the system and do it in a very responsible way. So these are some of the kind of common sense solutions that, that I see here in Montana. To, to move it forward. So when I look at DC, you know, our leadership is just failing us. And I think Greg Gianforte failed us before he even left the state. We need to take back our country. We need to take back our government. And we need to work together and invest in our tomorrow. Because we have these opportunities, and if we seize them, we can build a stronger Montana for the future. I hope you guys will join me. I, we've got a primary coming up in May. So voting starts in May, the election day is in June, and I, think, I hope to meet all of you guys around. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you, everybody.